laws and who could have it any other way uh, of course Jen will be in loser so he's got to win a total of four games nice nice opening bombing run love this song the very good song I'm ready to get into it I mean obviously John numbers with all Wait. the mo with all the uh, momentum in the world I think Jen's kind of like Jen has to look into this and kind of like, like I think Jen, uh, once again we need to see that that raw, that balls to the wall gameplay. We, we need to go crazy. We're, we're, we're not holding anything back. Oh, for sure. Like, like, like that right there. We're, there's no. Okay. <laughs> I like Jen's discipline there. He saw John crouching and said, I'm not going to whiff this backer so you can grab me. I, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of whiff punishing me with your, with your crouch. Yeah. Ooh, cringe. It's, a good, it's a good crouch. He avoids a lot of what Pow Tana wants oh my to God. do. The reflect off the wall. That's so, so the wall, dangerous. Oh, oh, the damn. wall bounce. The wall hacks from John Numbers. He's playing Valorant. <laughs> I think, uh, Jen catching with a jump from John Numbers. John Numbers is just like, able to, I love, like, these, these not, not, I don't want to say random, but it's like, like, throwing out these aerials in neutral, just like, kind of like, the whiff punishing there, like, whiff punishing anybody running into him. Oh, just like that, too. John Numbers, the confidence in all the options that he throws out at all times are just absolutely insane. We're seeing right now too where he's coming back on the stage. He has that deep breathing online. He just he has he has his foot on the pedal. He's in the driver's seat. He's, he's driving kind of slow though. This is this is the, this is the, the patient game. Yeah, they're taking their time, and John has a, a very uh, deep understanding of this matchup Ooh. by getting caught by another deep explosive flame again, getting punished for holding out there, trying to once again take his time and um, use that. Uh, use the full stage and not just the floor of it, but also the full range of the blast zones to his advantage. Getting a re-grab there, but Jen knowing better than to push recklessly against We Fit on ledge can be a very uh, frustrating character to deal with. Looking for a back air and waiting for the option from John before punishing with the neutral air. Oh my Sometimes gosh. Sometimes it's Are all the about the little ledge. things. Like those down tilts, punching the, volley the volleyball as well as punishing numbers. Get the parry on the up tilt in order to catch a tech chase on the other platform. Oh, the dragon was again. Oh my gosh, Jen is going in right Jen now. Jen is moving. He's moving and grooving. This going oh, deep off. moving. All the way through. Vin. There she is. moving. <laughs> That's, you know, dude, I don't want to I don't want to hear anything talking about schmoving. That was movement right there. He's out there. He, and catching a huge stock turnaround, able to take a what was a lead for numbers and put it in put himself in the driver's seat force numbers to get off of ledge do something about this lead get we, a job yeah we get could play ledge. here for four and a half minutes or we could just or numbers can try and take a stand with this deep breathing oh my that's God. a ton of damage gonna try and snipe with oh uh, can that time catching the drift with another oh up God. air I will catch the F to Gen ready expecting a gum to get on with the Nair. Oh, the parry into down to. Oh, you see that though? I thought that was going to be a back air from John, but it looked like he was just a little bit too low thanks to the air dodge. Catches a neutral air on that jump though, trying to close out this stock as best he can. There's a grab for into the back throw. 157 now, charging up the Sun Salutation, but getting even a back air for it. John still holding on for dear life. He's going to have deep breathing sing on the ledge once again. Let's see. Oh, the back throw. Oh, no, back throw. Oh, okay. That nice was mix so good. Does two stock from Jen. Because you're not. Damn. You're out here expecting Palutena at a moderate. Seeing your opponent at a mildly high percent and Palutena gets a grab. That's back throw every day of the week. Right? Jen says false. Incorrect, you fool. And I'm going to catch you DIing poorly to fall into this. Let me remember how this controls fall into a position where the di initial di in is going to put uh put numbers in a pretty bad spot catching sent, a jump out sent Dang. this way uh sent that way and then also catching the jump as well like just so so good this is just like a game of trigonometry right now it's like the absolute angles and stuff we're seeing right here it's just like jen putting in that absolute work getting john numbers taking that game number one I think John needs to uh, adapt a little bit. I kind of like, he felt a little bit out of the mojo. He's like, okay, all right, I'm back in it. We're in grand finals. I, I got out of my random money match. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how, how he did. I'm just uh, assuming how he did really. He's, he's oh, Ooh. my God. Jen trying to make uh, the game two a repeat of game one where he gets an early spike and able to ride that into victory by just forcing numbers into awkward, an, an awkward game state rather than just raw positioning. Mm -hmm. 
of which Palutena can excel at both. Thanks oh my to God! Tools again, like that explosive flame, dude. How many times has he hit? Has he hit that? I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? The the lean forward, I think, from We Fit Trainer avoided the flame and then also blew up uh, the uh, Gen Four. That just looks very in. weird. Correct. Okay, well, the four doesn't gonna take a very good stuff from John Numbers. He's not starting to feel himself back in the game like that. Like, hey, like I'm right. Oh, okay. Oh, surviving just that little bit. No rage and drifting all the way around to that ex uh, that explosive flame. Oh my God, taking 50 percent on the up B. John, oh the back and the ledge is gonna be so bad for Jen. Oh, oh nice. No, Both these players are just going in. It's like no, no, nothing held back. Absolute insanity. Gets an up throw into the forward air, throwing out the vol the soccer ball as well. I will eternally call it a volleyball first, apparently. Gets the back air out of shield too, 126, starting to snowball a little bit. Spot dodging and looking to try and get away, but Jen almost showing a little bit too much movement as Numbers is allowed to escape multiple times over with his life and lead this into a potentially two-stock deficit. Oh, and I'll find the drag. Yeah, and John's ready for it once again. I think the thing about John's, it's like Jen's kind of like playing like he's like ice skating, right? It's kind of like he's running a lot of movement all the time. But it's like sometimes you kind of like you lose your footing, you lose that traction. Your shoes are getting a little worn out, and you kind of can't stop. It's like it's like a it's like a runaway like shopping cart going down a hill. It's like yeah, you, you look cool, and yeah, you find your cool stuff sometimes. But like eventually, you're gonna just keep, you're, you're gonna lose control. I think what we're seeing from Jen right now is being at a two-stop deficit right now. Okay, well, there he goes with the back air. You're getting a little bit of that control. You're back on that flat ground. It's all right. But John is just still pushing in. Not worried about Jen. And, 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 and not really letting Jen get any kind of a feeling of comfort in his gameplay at all. Oh, my God. Okay. And trying to catch John sleeping there, but John did the uh, the ever present mix up of doing nothing. But the air dodge is just well timed. Jen not trying to find uh, trying to find their way back in this, but not finding that downer, which could have been a huge turnaround. Oh, John oh went for God. a uh, and went for an empty land and Ooh. that not gonna take it. Yeah, so not quite yet. Out. Yeah, I think Jen's got has to realize like, hey, like John's back in this game. I can't throw out the, all these uh these crazy options anymore. Yeah, once the man who knows what he's doing. 170 now. I think even without deep breathing, things like up throw or, or forward throw might now close out the stock. And the thin frame of uh, uh -oh. We Fit Trainer keeps him alive. <laughs> okay, Jen. Yeah. Oh my God! Waiting for the spot dodge. The disrespect yeah. from John. He didn't. I don't think he needed to wait out the spot dodge, but he did anyway. Just felt like it. So you know. A read's a read, and if you have it, might as well go for it. Like, look at this. It's just kind of just like, yeah, you can. Boop just... boop. It's like you're watching a little kid like do like a play, like a cardboard play. He's like, oh, that, that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty interesting sport. Okay. Now just uh, good job. Good, good night. Go to bed. <laughs> it's past your bedtime. You got school tomorrow. Okay. Cease. <laughs> All right. This is gonna be. We're looking at a potential tournament game here. If John takes this, it's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna be winning. But uh, if Jen's able to take this off, we could see a reset on our hands. This is just a uh, crazy game three. If Jen wins, yeah. Uh, Jen is starting off strong, uh, going for uh, going for a couple neutral layers, trying to just hold down this ledge trap, thinking, oh, Ooh, this my God, small battlefield shield pressure. platform is so dangerous. But deep breathing, is, the first deep breathing of the stock is out, and that is that's where Jen is going to look to try and take a little bit more stage and start with some of these pokes. But a back out of shield keeps Jen in the driver's seat of this game, even though he's in the corner, because he can do that. He can just like, charge him with up throw. You know, shout out to the jump callouts that John has been doing, not only in this set but also the winner's final set. He's been doing such a good job of prepping uh, neutral airs, up airs, forward airs, whatever the angle it may be but finding great spots to place them as Jen, as you were mentioning oh. before, Momo, a little bit uh, a little bit slippery on the ice, and oh, yep. that little extra movement is going to get eaten alive by John Numbers, who has found a lot of purpose in his dashes. The thing is that, like, Jen is on the ice in, like, uh, in socks, and John is on the ice in these uh, in those hiking boots. Yeah, he has those. He's, he's, he, he, like, he still has the movement, but he's firmly, he's planted firmly. He knows what's going on here. He, he knows what Jen's going for. He knows exactly, like, hey, these Hail Mary ops aren't really any uh, crazy. I'm kind of expecting at this point. Like, hey, you want to run in and throw out a backer at the bottom of the screen? Go out, be my guest, dude. I'm still going to have my ledge. I still have my, my, uh, my neutral. No jump. 
and just you're not really ready to uh, challenge my sheer will. That is, oh, that is my pressure. That's not going to take it, though. Absolutely necessary tech in order Ooh. to hit that. But the volleyball, uh, the attempted header ends up getting him caught into that explosive flame, keeping Jen very much in this game. We've seen the deep edge guards that Jen can go for, which have been his uh, the saving grace of some of these sets and some of these games, where if he's able to find one of those and turn the set around, especially in a position like this, it can turn not only the set, but could turn even the set after the potential true finals on the line into his favor as well. But John with deep breathing now has so much raw hit kill power at his disposal up until uh -oh. that neutral air. Jen putting on that pressure right now, knowing damn well that that deep breathing can take the stock right now, take his dreams. Oh my God, Jen putting so much pressure on John right now. Oh my God, landing there right there to the up air. He trying to catch John. Just, John, Jen is not able to have these uh this, this pressure that he usually does. John is just not really worried about any of this. There's, there's no fear in this man's eyes. He's like, okay, all right, Palatina. I know, I know what's gonna happen. Catching the roll in there. Yeah, the oh, big yeah. soccer ball. That's going to be so huge for John to get back onto the stage. Whoever takes the stock for something is going to take this game. I think it's just like, uh oh. The crouch again. The, the, the pressure. What do you do about that? He couldn't grab, so Jen was waiting for an answer from John as he just avoids the explosive flame. <sighs> Choosing to jump and air dodge oh, down, down to up air. Inside hit of down to into up air. Max Rage absolutely going to close that out as Jen just didn't get hit for so long in that as the up throw doesn't do it. Looking for something with this deep breathing here, but instead it's going to eat a neutral air as he tried to jump, uh, call out another jump. Oh 40. God. Even with deep breathing. Oh my god, 189%. Jen, uh, John needs to take the stock off of Jen now. Or this is going to be in big trouble. We're going to be looking at a reset in our hands. Okay, the sun side going to be We're at stock, potential tournament stock of Jen and John numbers, but we're going to have to see this. If John is able to play the super patient sitting at this ledge. Oh my god, the, the, the down throw. Oh my gosh. And for midnight, or does Jen have an answer to bring us right into true finals? That could have, net neutral, that could have been huge. Numbers choosing to go right to ledge, calling out a roll is Jen. Se uh, 71 to 11 is 60 percent difference and oh, climbing the, back the ledge trap continues oh! and the ledge trap ends as and the does. contournment continues yeah grand finals closes out but we've got another set coming another two out of three as jen was able to shake off an early deficit and turn it into a pretty solid lead wow That's what a grand finals reset we are in yeah. true dead ass finals here we are. What's what? I mean, what's going to become of this, right? It's it's going to be the same matchup, but now these two have two sets under their belt just today alone. With John having a uh, shown plenty of snowballing and strong uh, a strong suite of callouts on things like jumps and in off uh, especially off of ledge like that. But Jen has weathered the storm time and time again and able to find. Uh, able to bring uh, out this uh, the set count to one to one apiece. I think uh, Jen was kind of going to the last game saying like, "Hey, instead of like throwing out my crazy options, I'm just gonna play this more like more grounded, more. Uh, I'm gonna play my pounce. Oh Ooh. my god! Ugh. Volleyball is eternally active. If you can see it, it's a hitbox. <laughs> this move is so weird. Oh yeah. It's definitely something that is harder to play around, but oh! Oh, missing the tech as John what goes a for a call out. He goes for oh, a dare what a call and out again. That was a call out Damn. for sure. It's like, yeah, you're gonna roll back into the corner because not because you're we fit, but because you're Jonathan numbers and you wanna be in the corner. You wanna have me coming directly at you. We'll eat this forward smash before you have anything to say about it. Exactly, dude. Very good stuff from both of these players. I mean, Jen's trying to find that that momentum once again, but John just, able, just, just does so much damage on all the interactions. Oh my God, just like that again. John, it, it's like, you, you kind of like, you look at John, you, he gets in your face and you, you've taken 40% magically. It's really just, I have, you don't know what's going on. It's an excellent sprinkling. Uh, it's an excellent sprinkling of more offensive pressure I've seen from John as, we, as the back air of the shield ends up taking the stock. But he's doing a lot of rising dares. He's throwing out bigger, like so. He's doing a lot more bigger, uh, lasting hitboxes to try and just stop Jen from being too Ooh, comfortable my God. going air to air. We're gonna explosive flame once again. So we're, we're seeing a, a flashback to game number two in the first set. Oh my God! The air dodge straight through Jen. 
Oh, yeah, I don't... Okay. Covering low with the volleyball in an attempt to, recover, uh, to catch him going high, but the teleport to ledge is just so hard to deal with. Trying to get right. the get up attack. Can this result in an edge guard or will numbers get back to ledge? Get back to oh. his home. Scouted out the air dodge, but instead just returning to ledge. Good, pa I mean, infinite patience from John Numbers as he crouches down. But oh my God, John's going straight all the way out there. Jens is playing super patient. The ledge, you're at 120 percent. There's, there's really like. There comes a point where impatience is not really going to work out for you, considering that John has all the advantage to play the long game right now. Oh, trying to find the uh, near confirm. Is that gonna, not going to take it? That's such a place. Oh! Good the night. The bounce. The bounce. The skipping like a stone off of this platform. Damn, bro. As, I mean, what's there more to say beyond the cover the variety in Wii Fit's offstage coverage can be so huge. Because you get a forward tilt there, and most of the time, when you see this volleyball go, like this spike, this I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this a little bit. The spike hitbox, uh, or the header hitbox, will often send. Come on, it'll often go like this way. But John choosing to skip it off the block, so it goes uh, skip it off the ledge. Oh my god, I'm That's watching crazy. too much Steve. Oh my god, <laughs> Steve Rain Ron. It, 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 it's the summer of Steve. <laughs> Or too deep in. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, only, it's not even July. Oh, there's that. There's some of those up tilts though, which could have been a huge. It could have been a huge combo, but instead it's just a couple straight hits. Still at 60 though, so it's fine. You absolutely accept all of that damage if you're John Numbers looking for reverse fair as a starter that time. But Jen playing his counter hit style at the moment, trying to keep it patient, trying to keep it cool, calm, and collected, trying and to keep himself still in this tournament. Droop. This is, the, this is the tournament game, potentially. Jen needs to just to stay back on this. He needs to stick to his, his roots or play that, that patient game. Can't let Johnny do any more, let any of the shenanigans get to him, right? Jen plays with such confidence, and then when you're playing against Johnny, it's like, you don't know what the hell is happening at any time. The, 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 the hurt box is shifting. It's, just, it, it's all everywhere but nowhere at the same time. Oh! Ooh, barely missing the side side. Yeah, got a, got a little off the top there, but the crouch does, is met with a down tilt. That oh, <laughs> <laughs> trying to run away. Come on, John. Rapid jab is able to scoop the low as uh, there's a couple down airs. The shield pressure is insane. Oh, the oh the my shield God. pressure is insane. The, the skittle sh shield. It's way too small in order to effectively block something. Hence the ledge trap on top of the platform that time just to give his shield a little bit of time to heal. The backer out of shield won't close out the stock though. Uh, getting the weak hit with no deep breathing. Palutena-isms, you, you can just back air through things sometimes. Oh, getting caught. Oh, no, you're still fine. John wants to take the stock first. Now I want to give Jen any of a lead right now. The explosive flames are being thrown out, but there's no real punishment for this. Jen is playing at such a good, like, optimal range right now. They're playing extremely oh, careful. The, uh, the down air get ledge once again. I think Jen's getting a little too comfortable. Oh, never mind. That, uh, catching the roll from ledge with the back air. Jen taking the lead in this game number two of finals. This feels like it's, you know, si second verse, same as the first, right? John takes a game one in a pretty solid fashion, but then Jen just continues to survive and chip away at John's early lead. Oh, okay, straight up forward there. Yeah, you're able to catch that edge guard, but it's still 61%, and Jen holding very firm in this game plan, trying to uh, trying to whittle away at John's confidence and at his leads, little by little, not overextending and that's so huge that level of discipline as he avoids the get up attack into a, a grab no back air but resets the ledge situation that's what you see you see a lot of these players like John's oh, able to uh, he, he takes he takes his interaction and just steals the people's leads off so often and Jen's not really worried about this like, it's kind of like the playing against Falk with the same mentality like, I, I know I'm gonna take a lot of damage I know you're gonna do a lot of crazy horse shenanigans to me uh, I'm, I'm fine with that though as long as I can stick to my guns uh, you can do whatever you want man I'm still in this oh my god all right we have deep breathing on this is a very scary place for Jen to be in but Jen can take the stock now or he's good but just like oh the big parry yeah that netted him a punish instead of having to hold all of that the sun salutation heals a little bit Ooh, with the Eftel saving John there getting a a little bit of charge on that sun salutation, but he's off stage yet again. The clock is ticking down to 3.36. I don't think we'll go to time, but both these players 
are trying to be as safe as possible with some of this pressure. Jen not wanting to surrender too much oh, damage. Waiting as he there for the forward air. Crouching Damn. under it in order to find the down tilt. That was a wee fit moment right there. Yeah, that, a wee fit moment happening. The Palutena pressuring with forward air that time. Something that Jen hasn't done much of. Oh, but that, Damn. Up, that up smash was so that big was for huge numbers. For John. Oh my god, we're back to a. Uh, I mean, consider Jen's average kill percent for a lot of these stocks has been around like the 150 range. Able to close the stock sub 100 in a game two, like you can close out the tournament right now. Like that John is. John does, does not want to take this to game three once again. Very good stuff. I just like that. That's like the, that 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 like desperate option. Can also more almost like like yeah, I haven't gone for this at all. Like here's like bomb right in your face. And this, is, this is literally the, in true finals. The perfect time to pull that out. John's still trying to stick with Jen, just playing super patiently, throwing out another Nair, sending John off safe. Uh, this is giving me flashback to something else. It's giving me the, the end of the last grand finals. Oh, yeah. gosh, with the, the uh, boost. explosive flame, what's going on the right now? The boost off of the header in order to get around that explosive flame and turn it into such a huge amount of damage. It's 58% up, uh, uh, up to Jen, 77 as the grab, it gets broken. Welcome to continue to pressure on this shield as both of them are moving around each other, just barely avoiding that and falling neutral air. John gets the uh -oh. jump call out, Nair into up air, keeping oh, it safe. Smash! Another one. And that's going to end the tournament. 2 0 in grand finals reset. John numbers take Xeno number 246. Check this out. I mean, there's a mixture of so much good here. So. Numbers calls out the Damn. numbers had called out a couple jumps with neutral air at the uh, with this neutral air right. We'll see him go for it here right. That neutral air that he just did is you know we're gonna you have the the, the, right the, uh, the last up smash not not the not the last stock the uh, the second stop the up smash where John like up smash him at like sixty nine yeah yes yeah the the Jen's second stock yeah we died like. Six. It'd be one kill ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Look, yeah. look, 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 look. Yeah, trying to get oh. into center here. He's going to go for this for all game. It's... Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's uh, huh? Yeah, okay, well, you know, uh, hitbox is aside. Uh, hitbox is huge. Look at it. It's large. Ah. Lar large. Yeah. Large. <laughs> enough, enough. Go, it's go away. The sh the strength of numbers is. I feel like we were talking. Yeah, uh, you were touching on it, Momo. Like being able to save reads mm -hmm. until very, until very, very late in the game. And he did it. Not he did it with up smash twice. But first was an up smash out of shield, catching uh, Jen for being a little bit too aggressive with Nair. And the second was in a similar vein. But when he was already in offense, doing a read he had done before, but instead of trying to push and recover his resources, he instead stayed and caught the landing, which is not mm -hmm. something that John was doing frequently, instead choosing to play this sort of resource and air-to-air -air game. But that up smash is just huge hitbox, a little bit of invulnerability on startup, and with deep breathing, blows you away sky high. Very good stuff from John. I think that's literally the top player mentality, right? Right. Of just like I have all I have these crazy things going on all game. Like I'm gonna save them for my like, most opportune moment. Me, a guy like me, I'm throwing it out the first game, the first interaction. Right? Like, oh, oh my God, that's a crazy option. He just hit. No, I'm John Number saving that for Grand Finals reset twice to take yeah. the tournament. Yeah. Very good stuff from John Number. Uh, very good stuff from Jen bringing this all the way to the reset though. Oh yeah. Just uh, playing super patiently, but just like John Number is just about it, man. Yeah, it's a John Numbers victory for Xeno number 246, of which happen every single Wednesday event, uh, with which you can register at smash.gg slash Xeno after getting notified by following their Twitter, House of 3000, to know when you can register. You should also be in the Discord, and when the Match Reno is live, donate to the Match Reno to catch all of the, to help out the players and feed towards the pot, as well as catch all the action here at uh, twitch.tv slash House of Three Thousand. Well, I mean, that was a that was a bracket, man. That was a pretty solid bracket overall. Like as mentioned, seventy-eight players. The summer of Smash is here. Hopefully, it's not the summer of Steve, but who knows? Hey, I didn't see any Steve today, man. Don't, was, don't don't speak we, into existence. You know, we, we we will cross our fingers, no, no, we will no. cross our T's and dot our eyes and bid the good night. I have been Ubel. 
You can follow me at U-B-L-S-O-U-L. I've been joined by Momo. Follow me at Momo on the mic. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to everybody we love. Shout out to New York. I love this region, dude. I've been here Try two tournaments now. I love I love this region. Shout out to Devin. Shout out to House 3K. Shout out yeah! to everybody. There it is. You can start to predict when Devin does the clapping. It's pretty great. As we have a... I mean, it's a Wednesday night, so I hope all of you have an excellent night. Get some rest, and I'll see you all next Wednesday for some more Smash action. See you later. Numbers.